Hello Aquarius, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for you to be dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel at Valdely 3 Tarot. She'll read you as well. Thank you. Excuse me. Ooh. <laughs> what is that about? Aquarius, who are you dealing with? I'm going to call them out right away immediately. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is, um, I would say touche, but I'm not going to give them that much credit. Oh, they are smug. They are smug. You don't know what smug means. It's kind of like, eh, I got away with it. They got away with it. Wow. One second, Aquarius, before I jump into this. Oh my god, it just gets worse. It just gets worse. Um, yeah, now they're kind of like, okay, okay, and they can't, jeez louise, this energy, um, wow, that is, that is something else, like I said, I would say touche, but I don't want to give them that much credit, because this is, it's, you know, it's nothing new in the book, um, I could say nothing new in the, in the playbook, because that's exactly what that is, they have, they have a thought, they have a little mischievous thought at the beginning of this Aquarius, and they're kind of like saying, what if I just stir the pot and start shit with them? What if I just start shit with Aquarius in the living situation, in the home life? They do. They do. And that's what's interesting is it's almost like, uh, let me poke the bear, get the bear all riled up, and then be like, ah, the bear. And then they, they run into their little room and they protect themselves. They, you know, they slam the door shut. I am so pissed off and angry. And they're kind of like, they're smirking on the other side of the door like, eh, I got what I wanted. I want to be left alone. They're showing me, intuitively speaking, um, they got exactly what they wanted. They got exactly what they wanted. Now it's kind of like, oh, see, now I have a reason as to not know exactly how I feel. Um, you know, like violin. <laughs> and this is definitely something that they've they've pulled repeatedly. They've pulled this little trick. Um, what is it called? The uh, one trick pony. They pulled this trick more than once. It's not the first time they've done this to you, Aquarius. And ultimately, they're kind of like, no, I'm going to do this, move forward with this, sit back, watch, and observe, and see how Aquarius kind of like, you know, moves, thinks what they do. Once again, they're like, I think I need to be left alone, Aquarius. Um, they sit with themselves even more, and they're kind of like, you know what, actually, I'm more happy and more fulfilled with the results or the outcome or the effects of what I've just pulled. But I can't show that. I'm going to have my game face on and be real sharp, clear, and cold and cut off. That right there is a manipulator. That that is someone who that is someone who sat there and thought this, you know, thought this what would you call it? This um strategy through, that is for sure. That is crazy. Ooh. Yeah, they're painting me a very clear picture. <laughs> What's that song? I ain't saying she's a gold digger. <laughs> How can she be a gold digger, Aquarius, if she ain't got no gold? She's digging. She's dig she's clearly digging though. That's what that's about. Um As I say that, there's the Queen of Pentacles. She's looking for it, though. Like I said, she's looking for it. Looking for that gold. So much so the devil comes out following it. You catch my drift? Um, <laughs> Snakes all slithering around. Watch your feet. Watch your ankles. 
Um, regarding these plans, they definitely have these plans for their own independence. They do. At the same time, they're also kind of saying that these plans are this overall vision that they have in mind or have thought through. They're also kind of like saying like, oh shit, how am I going to actually pull this off? Um, so it's like what they want, what they're trying to create and manifest for themselves. They know what they want. They know what they're going after. They're going after money. They're going after gold. But they're saying that in order to kind of do this, I'm starting to see how the energy is working and playing out here. Um, in order to do this, they have a lot to take care of, a lot of responsibility to actually do for it. The reason why they're not 100% fully 100% going after this endeavor or just outright getting off their ass and just doing it and going after it is they're kind of like saying, uh, but whatever has happened, it's like, I'm kind of, I'm like in between. I'm energetically and emotionally wanting to latch on and hold on to Aquarius. At the same time, I'm like, I'm trying to figure out how to have things move forward and progress for myself. But regarding my work and my career, my financial situation is standing. I'm now split energetically torn in two different places and it's becoming toxic. Nice big shiny gold coin of an opportunity. That's what they're obsessing and fixating about. Hmm. Could be a new job, new line of work. So are we finally getting down to why? Are we getting down to why they're in this energy and this mindset? Um, you're going to show me. I ask if they're going to show me. Um, so there's the Ace of Swords that came out before Sagittarius. And then there's Sagittarius. So, I think so. And there's work on top of the deck. What they're showing me is whatever this financial opportunity is for the overall sake of their independence and their financial abundance right away even though this presents itself to them it's interesting it's kind of like uh, there it goes there it goes you know life is a moving target there it goes wave goodbye to it as it passes um they're saying great there is a financial opportunity there but there are so many problems and issues possibly within the living situation between the two of us i'm looking at five 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 they're stressing the hell out and that's because they feel like you have someone on the side and they're kind of, it's interesting. This is an energy of someone who wants to kind of like monkey branch from the relationship or connection with you and the situation and dynamic they have with you over to their own independent. But it's almost like through, I'm not going to say through jealousy, but possibly through jealousy. They're kind of like, well, they have, Aquarius has someone else on the side that they already have an emotional connection to. And I don't want to make a move yet because it's like, it, for some reason, it's like their ego or their pride that's fucking with them. And that's why they're having this unfortunate realization that they themselves once again need to sit with themselves and really process and think this through. And it's kind of like, well, damn, if I walk away, I get what I want. I get my independence. At the same time, Aquarius, emotionally speaking, has some sort of connection to someone else. This is some interesting justification, to say the least. Um, let me pull a little bit more just for curiosity's sake. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, drink responsibly, cross watcher. This is someone who likes liquid courage, except they don't have any courage even at the bottom of the bottle. This is someone who's like, I want to live it up and party up and sip, sip, sip my mixed drink so that I don't have to actually feel my emotions. They numb, they numb themselves out. I know you, I know you're following Aquarius. We've all been there. An addict knows an addict. It was 14 years ago when I stopped drinking heavily. Let's you know. Can't bullshit a bullshitter. They're not going to speak on this. They're not going to do shit. They're like, the best thing I can do right now is just try to make the best of my situation and not feel anything. So, of course, if you are dealing with anything, it could be dealing with a fire sign, a water sign, an earth sign, or an air sign. They're all here. Goodbye.